This is like a scene in a horror movie right before the killer eats you. And I identify as disabled. Kidding aside, you can't really identify as disabled, you know? I mean, short of stabbing yourself in the eye and becoming a cyclops, you can't really just be like, oh, now I'm paraplegic. You can't really do that. That's something that has to happen to you as opposed to something that you can identify as. If you have a problem with my identity, you can scoot your, your booty off this page. I think what makes this scene even better is that he looks like the Trigglypuff meme and he has all the sassiness of a white woman with a gender studies degree and a job in HR. I did a house tour. <laughs> That's right, we took all the clips off. Imagine being the person who paid extra so you could get a naked house tour from this flesh-toned Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I don't know what upsets me more, the image of Nikocado Avocado's naked body or the fact that there are people who actually paid money to see Nikocado Avocado's naked body. One of those things is more horrifying than the other, but I'm not sure which. Because there's nothing wrong with the human body. The human body is to be celebrated, proud how we are made, like sculptures in Greece. Yeah, if those sculptures were made of butter and left out in the sun too long, sure, I could see that. And waddling my crippled ass to the toilet and missing the toilet. That one there was a violation, personally I wouldn't have it. I went back there the other day, we had Chick-fil-A and that spice sandwich came flying out like lava. Why not? The image of spicy food leaking out of his chocolate starfish invokes a sense of utter disgust in me that can only be rivaled by images of the Holocaust. And there's a trail for Little Red Robin Hood and her three horses. All the hooves of the pigs or whatever the animals in the nose arc shit that was in that story. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I'm wearing the same underwear. It, these undies smell like cottage cheese. Oh, there goes my love of cheese. Well, or cheeseburgers, or really anything having to do with cheese. Because the last thing I want is to associate anything I enjoy with a sweat-drenched fat man sitting in a bed complaining about how he hasn't bathed in... God knows how long. You know what? You at home probably could have done without that information. But that's how we roll on this channel. We suffer as a unit. And honestly, this has nothing to do with my water weight. The only way that could be mostly water weight is if he drank the entirety of the Atlantic Ocean. Like, water weight. And I'm Richard Nixon. Why not? I don't want to hear, oh, you're kidding yourself on camera. Oh, you're so unhealthy. Oh, this is his demise. Oh, he's going to be I'm never going to be on my 600 pound life, ever. Mark my, I'm never even going to be 600 pounds. The most I'll be is 400 of mostly water because I eat mostly carbs and sodium. You stupid, stupid, stupid lump on a log. You know what's amazing? He used to be thin until he turned into this potato shaped man creature, you know? Like, I guess it goes to show no matter how healthy or in control you are of your weight, all it takes is like a little bit of YouTube clout and DoorDash, and you too can end up shaped like Dr. Eggman with the personality of a TikTok feminist. Don't you know anything about nutrition? When you eat mostly carbohydrates, what's in that world? What's in that word, you dummy? Hydrate. I wonder if there are double wide coffins for people the size of Nikocado Avocado, you know? This video is already four minutes in and he has not gotten to the point. 
And some people are going to be asking, oh, well, that's because you keep stopping. I'm already at nine minutes, bro. Nine minutes. I am nine minutes into this video. And he has not gotten to the crux of the video. So far, it's mostly just him defending the fact that being morbidly obese and having a CPAP means that you're disabled. I mean, I guess in some respects you are. He is clearly mentally disabled, so... But yes, today we're doing nutritious treats. Because yesterday I had that chicken and it gave me projectile diarrhea up the tub. And Could you be friends with someone who is this open about the various problems they had with food? Like, for example, right? Your friend who you're having lunch with goes, You know, I don't really like chicken sandwiches because they turn my asshole into Hiroshima. And my pants become a biohazard. You know, like, if I were around someone who was that forthcoming with their problems, particularly regarding food and the food they eat, I don't think we could be friends any longer. That's just me, you know? Maybe I'm a bad person, but you know. I'm not and it's still there. Like I said, Little Red Robin had left the little crumbs for Granny and the wolf. Except there's no one here to come clean up those trails. Oh, 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 oh. The fact that you refer to your dookie trails as crumbs for rabbits to eat pains me so greatly. I'm gonna skip ahead because the rest of this is just complaining about his fake breakup with his boyfriend. Boyfriend? Boyfriend. No, husband. I'm sorry. So, I'm just gonna move on into the meat of the video. Something I probably should have did earlier, but there were a lot of, like, little weird nuggets that I wanted to comment. The fact that he just randomly farts in his bed, just out of nowhere. I'm sick of this! I'm sick of this! All these shenanigans, he knows I'm handicapped. He knows I can't reach. And what does he do? What does he do? Oh, uh, he plays games. Meanwhile, I'm on more morphine where I can't feel nothing. That, I, I don't even know how, like if I were to tell someone or to describe to them this scene, they would think I'm either on drugs or just not believe me outright. I don't believe me, and I'm looking at it. What is this? <laughs> but I still have to waddle because my water weight's out of control. Bruh, you gotta waddle because you're several people in one. I ain't got nothing to do with water weight, bruh. Nothing. So, I got a bunch of Happy Meals to make me happy. Like I said, my dietitian Amber, she says you need to be happier. So we order Happy Meals like Happy Like Amber, Abacamita, my dietitian. Imagine if a dietitian really did stuff like this. If like your dietitian told you, oh, you need to be happy. So I'm going to order you a Happy Meal. You're feeling sad, then have a chocolate waffle in the shape of a smiley face. <laughs> it would be the world's worst dietitian. And I am coming up on, oh wow, this is almost eight minutes. So I'm gonna let it play out a little bit and then we'll see where I go from there. So to close this out, you know, I, I'm gonna take a break from this long, long video, which is, Jesus Christ, this is a long video, to, comment on a story or rather to tell a story so i was on a place on the internet yeah that's very very like descriptive and some guy said like nikocado avocado puts on these like crazy over the top videos that take like all this effort and my only reaction is like bro all he does is just scream and rant like, literally anyone can do that. I do that. Like, anybody who makes commentary videos just rants about nothing, like, forever while they're commenting on the video. What do you mean he puts on, like, effort? What, the, what are you talking about? And then the dude was like, well, in comparison to somebody else, I'm like, 
whatever, bro. Y'all know what you're talking about. Anyway, like, I had no idea why I told that just nothing of a story. It was more interesting in my head. Anyway, so because the video is very long, it's like 32 minutes, and I didn't want to just skip around because surprisingly for as long as this video was, there's like lots of like really good stuff to comment on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a sequel. Uh, 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 why did it take that long to get that out? A sequel to this video later or sooner depending on if anybody wants it or not but i am going to do a follow-up because this was actually pretty funny to comment on and nekakado is such an insane person so like there's plenty of fresh stuff to you know like get from it next video will probably be different until i get the second part of this one out or it may not depending on how things go anyway i will see you later and lying and implying you get on the show and you make these accusations and then back off and lying and implying